I am monstrous, and this is a sea view. <laughs> Today, this sea view might just get a little bit hairy for all of you Hendersons out there. For I am going to review a little movie starring a big hairy monster. Yes, I think you know the one. Bigfoot. In fact, the movie is called Bigfoot the Movie. <laughs> This film stars everybody's favorite Pittsburgh dad, Kurt Wooten, as Chuck. <laughs> All you city folk think up here in the sticks are just a bunch of hicks sitting around, getting drunk, telling stories of spaceships landing. Now, here we saw Bigfoot. I'm here to tell you right now, I'm going to bring you the proof. Chuck is sort of like a happier, more Pittsburghian version of The Walking Dead's Daryl. <laughs> Perhaps the only reason they did not name him Daryl is there's already a Daryl in the movie elsewhere. <laughs> also in the movie is Nate McGill playing Dale, Chuck's right hand best friend. These two accompany each other through the bulk of the movie, sharing many adventures and hardships and jokes, uh, <laughs> often at one another's expense. <laughs> Dale is sort of like the uh, everyman of Western Pennsylvania. If you've ever been into a bar in anywhere in Western PA, you've met a Dale for sure. Grind him up, turn him into jerky, and then we'll sell it to the town. I'll give you my world famous deer jerky recipe. Then there is Joanne Dodds, who plays Kate, a bartender who is a bit sassy, mostly lovable, and often sort of one of the guys who does wind up joining our two heroes on uh, much of their quest at, at, at a certain point in the movie. <laughs> yeah, exotic animals from around the world. And last but not least is Jared Show, who plays Burl, the exterminator. <laughs> I'm an exterminator. That's what I do. I exterminate things. You know, pests, vermins, except humans, of course. Of course. Such a heroically um, unique character. <laughs> I first became aware of Burl at a recent convention I was at when people were wearing his logo t-shirts all over the place. That is such a delightful logo. <laughs> Burl comes along and adds an extra level of simultaneous manliness and actually emotion. Look how large his footprint is. It's huge. It's big. It's a big foot. You get it? While this movie will frequently be called a Pittsburgh movie, you will note at watching it that it actually takes place in a small town called Elwood. However, <laughs> this is a small town in western Pennsylvania, and as anyone around there knows, if you're within a hundred miles of Pittsburgh, then well, you're from Pittsburgh. <laughs> you still have Steelers blankets are lining your couch. <laughs> you still know what a Primanti Brothers sandwich is and what all is on it. <laughs> so yes, it, it takes place in the small town of Pittsburgh, just outside of Pittsburgh. <laughs> yes. As for the plot of the movie, it primarily centers around Chuck and Dale as they happen upon a grisly murder at the hands of, as far as they can tell, everyone's favorite furry fiend, the Bigfoot. So they spend the rest of the movie, number one, seeking revenge on Bigfoot for their fallen friend, as well as going around and putting together pieces of a kind of devious local secret. <laughs> Along the way, our heroes will encounter a group of people who look as though they are rushing to keep a secret. <laughs> Some hench Mennonites, a gleefully devious mayor, and a sheriff who 
may or may not wind up being Vincent D'Onofrio in disguise. <laughs> Something I will say about this movie is uh, it's fairly obvious from the beginning that this is a small budget affair. However, <laughs> you can tell that those who made it do enjoy what they're doing and it is not made with ineptitude at all, no, no. The title character, Bigfoot itself, is actually quite a sight to behold. It looks quite nice, actually. <laughs> I would compare the effects on this creature to a number of 80s and 90s lower but still fairly well done horror movies. It's, it's quite nice. In fact, <laughs> That is something else to be said about this movie, is if you look throughout the movie, you will notice a severe lack of modern technology. I do not believe I spotted one single cell phone, as well as any sort of eye devices or anything, so it's a little bit hard to tell if this is meant to be a period piece sent in the late 80s or early 90s, or perhaps this is just how pencil tucky is. <laughs> As for some other things I like about the movie, well, for one, I like the opening theme. <laughs> it definitely seems as though it is trying desperately to compete with the classic Halloween theme. <laughs> it certainly sets the mood for the film. <laughs> I also like that this movie has its very own mullet and rat tail stylist. <laughs> And also, again, I really enjoy that Bigfoot. Whenever it is on screen, it steals the show. The effects on the, on the face, the uh, mechanics that went into making it work and roar and move are, are quite astounding. <laughs> As for any cons I might have about the movie, well... I did just say that the Bigfoot looks quite nice, and it does, and I will hold to that statement. However, there is one little bit about it that, that kept uh, triggering my attention. It's, it's a little, I don't quite know what to call it, sort of a, a fur flap on it. I am not sure if this is meant to be a bit of anatomy. Actually, I'm not sure if it is meant to um, pertain to something else that comes up later in the movie, or if it's... It's just there to be there, but it's it's sort of an odd sort of slight, slight detraction from the otherwise amazing spectacle that is this Bigfoot. <laughs> Another slight issue with it is I do feel that there are points where the time between the various action and horror related scenes might go on a little too long. There, there are There's at least one uh, romance subplot as, as well as a couple of other... Um, shall we say, love-related subplots. Uh, they might take just a little bit too long, but uh, other than that, uh, this movie really does, does not try to hide what it is. It, it, it tells you what it is right off the bat. <laughs> now, as far as who or what kind of audience I might recommend this to, you know, can you show this to your children, or is this adult fare? Well, if you look at the box, it actually says it is unrated. However, if I were to give Bigfoot the movie a rating, it would be WWE. <laughs> That's right. This movie is rated WWE. What I mean by that is, are you a fan of uh, Monday Night or what is it, Thursday Night Wrestling these days? Uh, do you and your family enjoy the sort of violence and innuendo and um, revealing nature of that sort of programming, if all of that is okay with you, then so will this movie be. <laughs> there might even be a few more ties to the idea of uh, wrestling. <laughs> so, if anything like that does turn you off, that this thing definitely does lean towards a heavier PG-13 style rating, so perhaps for some families a little more squeamish about uh, certain details, whether it's a slight bit of violence or a little, um, a little bit of revealing nature with some of the characters, <laughs> uh, 
Perhaps you might want to start by making this a midnight movie and tucking the little ones into bed for now. <laughs> so, if you are looking for a fun, light-hearted, 90s to 80s throwback horror film with a lot of Pittsburgh in it, and I mean, you know, the sayings, the phrases, some of the locations, even the music choices are all very reflective of Pittsburgh. <laughs> if you can deal with this sort of lower budget and enjoy just watching a group of friends get together to make a movie and have a good time while doing it, I, I do very much recommend Bigfoot the movie. <laughs> Especially those of you who are fans of Pittsburgh Dad and would love to see Kurt Wooten in something else. And granted, he does pull out a lot of um, dadisms. Uh, I think that's a little bit hard to, to deny for him at this point, but uh, <laughs> he does come across his own unique, lovable, mullet-wearing character in here. So, yes, I would say give Bigfoot the movie a chance. <laughs> we need to find this beast, and we need to kill him. We need to kill him now! So, if you enjoyed my monster D view of Bigfoot the movie, <laughs> do keep an eye out for my next video, because it might just have you going ape. <laughs> this is Monster D, saying, stay monstrous!